All right, I see there's some work done here. Some things had been kind of heated up, you can clearly tell. Let's set uh, the meter into a heat test. Okay. So this line is short. This is short, this is short. I'm gonna feed some voltage into the power line up here. This is ground side, this is the power line. Okay, this component, let me take that out. Yeah, that smells a little burnt. Let's check the line. No more short. Okay, um, we have a donor unit with the same chip on here. Is the one we removed. I'm gonna switch the position of this one into here just to see if we still got the short on this line okay um, before I disturb the donor board Okay, that's done. No, no more beef. Perfect. That's taken care of. I'm gonna put some flux here. Let's take the same component from the donor.
and there we go. So both of these are back in place. Let's check our line for the shorts, same way. No short, should be good to go. Let's take the cables. Cables are set. Okay, let's monitor the heat up. Hopefully nothing is starting to go crazy. Power on. There we go, we got the capacity. The unit is ready. Sectors are accessible. Basically the unit is now repaired. The device is now fixed. So we had this component that was blown up. Very easy to test, you locate. But if we look at the sector map, you see we're browsing this device. The data is accessible. Um, now it's time to clone it and uh, produce a copy for the client. That's pretty much it. Uh, this case is done. We're not imaging from PC3000 unit, but from DeepSpar USB stabilizer. I'm gonna just go into uh, the extractor, start new task. Refresh. We should get a data device here, good. Make a copy into virtual disk. Serial number nine. That's cool. All right, so there we go. The image started. 150 megabytes speed. That's the bottleneck of the hard drive. It's getting cloned too. But uh, if this drive isn't full, there's no point in imaging the entire space. We can just go into uh, directory view, grab the uh, um, partition, and partition will have two kind of tables, two maps that we can work with. We can work either with MFT uh, or we can use, we can go by the use space in the bitmap. Because the drive is fixed, I'll just get, capture everything. Here it seems like the drive is full, so I mean whether we go by chains or just clone the whole thing into a virtual disk doesn't make a difference because the virtual disk empty space doesn't add extra space onto our hard drive where we're targeting it to. It's just going to get uh, uh, excluded. And uh, when it's done, the data will be fully cloned. We can either give this device back to the client as functional, but I mean, I would, wouldn't prefer that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, client can be happy now that the data is retrieved and uh, the whole problem was because of this guy right here this is our enemy of the state so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching this episode i'll see you in the next one